What's up everybody? Just want to do another quick five minute video on a great web resource called Class Dojo. Uh, this is a interactive behavior management tool that you can use in your classrooms and it works awesome with the smart board. So the first thing you're going to do is come up and go to www.classdojo.com and if you are new to Class Dojo you will just simply click uh, sign up and you are a teacher. It's going to simply ask you for a few questions. And you choose to use it as a teacher. And we'll get started. And you'll get a congratulations, welcome to Class Dojo. And what you will want to do is add a new class. What's awesome is you can uh, select what grade level you're in, uh, what subject, general education, and name your class. So, Mr. Herbert's class. And you are ready to begin. Now you're just going to enter your students' names. John, continue to add in your class name, Sam. Tom, Aaron, Sarah, and Christy. Uh, you can add last names if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, you're going to save and close. Uh, what's awesome is you can actually have invitation sheets to be sent home to the parents so they could actually check on how the student's behavior was during the day. So we're not going to do that right now. So what you would do is you would hit start and uh, you would display this on the screen. Here's your optional right here. So now you can see that the class is posted up uh, on your whiteboard here and all you have to do is simply go over and tap on one of the students. Let's say Aaron. And is Aaron making a positive choice or a negative choice? If it's positive, maybe she's helping others on task, participating. You know what? She's working hard. And a little point will pop up and Aaron will get this little point here and maybe Aaron will make uh, it'll make her feel good but now you know what Sam saw that point and now he wants one so you would say up oh, nice job you're working hard <phone rings> Sam's got a point up there John well John is talking out of turn or he might be off task <phone rings> but he sees that come up a couple minutes later he fixes himself you just tap on John again and now that point is erased so it's a quick and easy way to have a visual behavior management tool that is interactive for both you and if you wanted to even have the kids go up to the whiteboard touch their name and give themselves a point so let's say that you are finished with your class for today uh, all you would simply do is come up here and click on the end class button and it's going to give you a little bit of feedback as to how you did for the day. Uh, you had 62% of positive behavior. Uh, it shows you by breakdown of your students, uh, how each student did. You know, Tom might have been absent that day, so he got uh, zero, but some had mediocre. Uh, and if not, up here there's a button that says edit your class. This is a great little, uh, little tool because you can actually have the kids uh, choose which avatars they would want for themselves. So they could say, oh, you know what, I want uh, this guy right here. And you'd be able to switch it up. Or this Tom really wants to be this guy. Uh, so it's a way to customize it and make it um, unique for each student so they don't have to feel like you're assigning it for them. They might be, want to uh, pick out that avatar themselves. Great little way. Just drag it over and it will select, save, and then the next time you go into your class the avatars will be um, there and changed for you. So if you click on start class again your next day, uh, but now we have a problem because we have our behavior up from the day before. What we would do is just hit reset. We would select the ones we wanted to. In this case I want to select them all. Scroll down and reset and now you're starting a fresh day at zero. 
So I hope this video was informational and helpful and uh, you might want to start using ClassDojo in your class. Uh, be sure to check out our blog for more tech tips.